Thank you so much, Todd. Well, it may be the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, but it was the royal children who stole the show on the balcony of Buckingham Palace yesterday. And joining us now is royal etiquette expert and the founder of Beaumont Etiquette. Her name is Micah Meyer. She also is at the Plaza Hotel, if you're ever in New York City. <laughs> she has a finishing program there and teaches all the little children of New York how to act properly at the dinner table. That's right. <laughs> nice to have you here. What was your reaction of Precious Louis yesterday? I mean, he's, he stole the show. He was exactly, I think, what people wanted to see. It really humanizes. It makes them relatable. I thought he was adorable. And just talking to the queen, Gan Gan, like it's his grandma. He doesn't know anything different. So I loved it. I thought it was, um, I thought he was fantastic. And the children were, the, uh, the older children were very well behaved. They had to bow in the carriage, and there's a beautiful picture of the three of them bowing during prayer, which is not the picture that you're seeing right now on your screen. <laughs> oh, sorry, but that's um, my favorite picture. Yes, that that's... is so... Who hasn't had their child make exactly that face? Yeah. Make it stop! And my favorite thing is to watch, watch the Duchess of Cambridge when this is happening yeah. and how gracious she is, and she handles it so well, and she kind of just laughs with it. Every parent can relate. Human, it warms our vision of her as well. You see her as a mother um, in a familiar posture that we've all been where she's just like okay you know sort of I think thing. my favorite bit was when they were in the carriage here this picture here you got Louis was <laughs> waving and then Charlotte his big sister slaps him down like enough now enough and then he gives it about a beat and then he just goes off again he likes Sorry, I think it's here right here okay. <laughs> now watch he gives it a beat and then oh, you miss it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> literally about a beat later up he comes again with his, his royal <laughs> wave but it's like we were saying earlier it must be so odd to be a kid of that age and have to wave at complete random strangers all day long. It's, it's a strange thing we expect from these people. But, um, you know, I think you look at the pictures of the Queen and Louis on most front pages over here today, and, and that's a wonderful image for the royal family. It's the it's a kind of the current old generation who've been rock solid for so long and the future of this little kid who, you know, you never know the way these things play out. He's, I think, fifth in line to the throne. Sixth, uh, fifth, I think, yeah. Uh, Louis, you never know. Maybe he will be king of England one day. What an amazing well, thing. If, if, that, if that's first. the picture we see of him. <laughs> you know, Charlotte would come after George because yes. they changed the law they right after the law, So women have the same right? rights as the men now uh, in the nice. succession. So it goes George, Charlotte, then Louis. But, you know, we are assuming that you know, nature... Yes. doesn't interfere here in the line of succession and you can never be too confident about that and also I like that just like Harry Harry had less responsibility so he grew up being a little cheeky right. so I think we're seeing the same thing with Louis here yeah, he, he, he doesn't always feel that, so he, can get away right. with he can always get away with right. it right so what do you think of the you know we were talking about the seating in the church and everything I mean for for the protocol etiquette specialists involved in that arrangement I can only imagine what that has been like for them I believe it probably was one of the trickier parts of this entire celebration was making sure everybody was sat in a place where there were no you know they, they don't want anything to distract from this amazing celebration really I think it was actually there. a very straightforward thing it was you put William and Kate and Charles and Camilla one side and you put the others, the renegades, over on the other side because they are nowhere near each other. I mean, how weird that Prince Harry is nowhere near his brother and his father at a Thanksgiving service for the Queen. That's right. It's, this is yeah, really, we're into uncharted territory here. So this seating arrangement may seem like kind of irrelevant, but as I think Ainsley, as you put it at the break, it's like, imagine going to a wedding and, or, you know, Charles and Camilla and Kate and William are on the kind of, you know, the, the bride side and the others are on the other, yeah. like the outlaws. I mean, it's really extraordinary to watch for they, me as a long-time royal watcher. It's extraordinary. They kind of uh, scattered some close, you know, Wessex family around them and yes. Beatrice and Eugenie, who also were not allowed to be on the balcony yesterday, as not strictly working royals, but um, so they're the with way, family, way, but was... they're clearly out of every shop. Yeah, and, and I feel for Eugenie and, and Beatrice, Andrew's kids, because through no fault of their own, they've been removed from the spotlight. They wanted to be seen to be celebrating their grandmother's amazing life. They haven't put a but foot have wrong. have they been? Have they been? Because they're just not part of the working family. Only working family could yes, be on the balcony. But actually, that was really designed to stop Andrew and Meghan and Harry being on the balcony. So they came up with this working family sort of qualification. But Eugenie and Beatrice have done nothing wrong. They're sweet young ladies. I know them very well. I know Beatrice very well. They're incredibly nice people. They've done nothing wrong here. And yet they're basically being, you know, lowered down it's the... It's probably not anything against them. 
she just had to find a reason not no, no. to get Megan. But I, don't, I wouldn't underestimate there. her feelings that have been created right. through this because of yeah. what happened with their father. Okay. Well, Micah Meyer, thank you so much for coming on with us and talking about etiquette and the rules. We appreciate it. And bringing us the biggest rock I've seen on a finger in a long oh, time. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I've nearly been blinded. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, now you have to show it to our audience. That is a hell of a rock. Thank you. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.